Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, I want to make a little quick video. It's like a three-subject video. One, I want to talk about John Travolta and Death of His Son. And I know it's late, but as you all know, I just got back from Norwalk. I wasn't even in town to make my video, so I've been away from my camera and everything. And I'm sorry about that. Um, but my prayers and my condolences to the Travolta family. Um, that's horrible. Like to lose a child. I mean, I will never, probably never know what it feels like. Um, to lose a child. Hopefully, I'll never have to know the feeling of losing a child. Um, but I do know what it feels like to lose a loved one because I've lost many in my life. And I feel, I, my heart just dropped when I heard about that. I mean, because it's heartbreaking to see someone in pain. To, to know that someone in this world, you know, I mean, to wake up every morning and be so blessed and to be able to smile. And knowing that there's so many others in the world who don't have a smile or a reason to smile. They don't have that reason because something is wrong in their life that is not giving them the reason to smile. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not, it's not, um, it's just like things just aren't going right. And I, I don't feel like there's anything that can go more wrong than to lose your son. He was 16 years old, y'all. I got a cousin who's about to be 16 years old. And even though we don't speak like that no more, I would die if I lost him. I really would. I would lose my fucking mind. Um, and that's not even my child. Like, imagine your son, your daughter. You're losing your child. You gave birth. to. You didn't even get a chance to see your child grow up to be the man or the woman that you raised them to become. Didn't even have a chance. That, that just, it was a freak accident, and it was so, so heartbreaking, so horrible how it happened, and I, my, my condolences and my heart just goes out to the Travolta family, and you're in my prayers, and I think John Travolta is a funny-ass actor, he, I love his movies, John, John Travolta is a legendary actor, and um, definitely love his stuff, and I just, uh, I just have no words. It's, it's it's heartbreaking to me. Honestly, it's very, um, it's never a good thing to hear that someone is, um, is going through something like that. It's never good. It's never good news to hear that someone's hurting, um, whether you know them or not. If you have a heart, you you know. If you're a human being who has a heart and who has feelings for others. And you just have those natural emotions to where you, you, you know, you don't like to see other people who are down. You don't like to see other people who are not doing well. You want, you would like for everyone to be able to have the opportunity to do well. Or you would like for everyone to be able to have reason to smile just like you do. And, you know, unfortunately in the world that we live in, that's not possible for everyone to be able to get up in the morning and have a reason to smile because there's so much corruption in the world. Um, some things happen for a reason and then, I mean, some things happen for a greater purpose. And I believe that the Travolta family will definitely come out strong on this one. And um, I definitely, like I said, you're my prayers and my condolences out to you all. Um, but on another note, on another subject, um, I want to talk about... Um, the whole Oscar Grant situation. I just want to speak briefly on it because I really, like I said, I didn't, I didn't have time to do my research on it or really understand what was going on. I'm just going by what I've been hearing and reading, um, and that was the most utter gut butt bullshit I've ever, ever seen in my life. Um, I saw the video and it's bullshit. They had the man handcuffed pinned face first to the concrete where the fuck was she going i know if i had my hands cuffed behind my back there's no way in hell that i'm harmed to anyone around me okay there's no way in hell that i can possibly be a threat to anyone behind me especially with a gun pointed to my fucking back so how in the hell did they figure that it was justifiable to shoot this man in the back and if they get off like they did with sean bell that'll be some more shit they're already riding out there in oklahoma or oakland i'm sorry they're already riding out there in Oakland behind the shit. So what the fuck is thing going to happen when, you know, God forbid, these cops get off? Because it's funny because the cops who usually do these shit, these type of, you know, things to people. And this, there are stories. Sean Bell and 
Oscar Grant aren't the only two people who have fallen victim to, uh, um, to you know, basically hate crimes. Cause there's nothing. I can't even really call them anything else. Those crooked ass cops, those criminal ass cops. Okay, they they should be punished to the full extent of the law. Just like how you can rape a child and be put away for 16 years and then be put out. Okay, did I say too much? I don't think I did. Don't get me started on that shit. Because I still have yet to make a video about that Christopher Barrio situation that happened, what, two years ago? And I don't think I will make a video about it. I actually did do a, a, a vlog about it. I'll leave the link to the blog in the description box over here. But that situation, to think that a, a man can rape a child... And be put away for up to 16 years, okay, and then be just and then released to roam the streets again. But then you have people who have who are armed and have badges on their chest who are supposed to be protectors of the law, protectors of the citizens, protectors of the community. Okay, they're supposed to protect and serve, and they're out there doing what the criminals are doing. They're murdering people in cold blood, killing our people on the street for fucking nothing. Okay, and like I said, as many stories as I've, as I've been hearing about it, I have yet to hear what the fuck he did for them to feel like they had to pin him down like that and shoot him in his fucking back when he's defenseless. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Okay? Utter bullshit. The Sean Bell situation was bullshit. This situation is bullshit. And all the other families that have fall, fallen victim and the lives that have been ruined on account of some crooked ass cops was a bunch of bullshit. And I hope they get what they deserve. Okay, justice definitely needs to be served because shit will pop off if justice is not served. Okay, um, with that being said, also I want to add one quick thing. I'm gonna get out of here because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, let me just say this: I know a lot of y'all is mad because I feel like Obama should have done something or said something in the process. Please remember that Obama is not the president yet; he is the president elect. He has not even been inaugurated, and you're already claiming that because one thing happened since he's been. The president-elect that he's supposed to take full responsibility for it and yes I, I feel like something should be done I think that he should say something on it but as I stated in my last video about the whole Beyonce situation and how she's not perfect he's not perfect either okay look at all the number of things that have happened in the past 18 years since we've had our last two presidents in office all the shit that's happened did you once see any one of them come out and say anything about what's happened since then since they've been running office hell no Okay, all this shit that's happened during Bush's term. Has he once came out and said shit about it? No. And Bush is still the president, technically, and he didn't even come out and say shit about it. But you quick to point the finger at Barack Obama. What you don't understand is that, yes, the first step was electing him. Now, you have to support him and let him do him. Change is not going to come overnight. He was elected two months ago, and you think just because gas prices went down a little bit, now, now shit's supposed to be changing overnight, just like that. No. Please don't get it twisted. It would take years. It'll probably take years after even if Barack Obama were to serve two terms if he make it two terms it would take years and years and years of recovery even after him in order for us to be what we need to be as a country because of the shithole that we're in now okay so and no it did not all start with Bush but it damn sure and it fucked up when it when it came down to Bush so with that being said let Obama do him he said he's gonna do it let's see what he do okay He's not, he's not perfect, okay? He's not, um, um, he's not in a whole different category as far as, you know, us regular human beings who make mistakes. No, he's going to make mistakes in his term. I'm quite sure because you know why he's human. And so with that being said, um, you have to give him time to do him. You know what I'm saying? We elected him. Let's have a little faith in the man, okay? Like I said, he ain't even, he ain't even been inaugurated yet. And you already kissed, you know, acting like he's the fucking son of Sam or some shit because he didn't do or say one thing that you felt he should have said. In my opinion, in, in my question to you, who, you people who feel that way, do you feel that McCain would have did any differently? Because if you don't remember, or I remember correctly, um, McCain was the only other option. So if you think that Barack Obama not doing something, or that if you feel like he should have done something, do you really think that McCain would have even gave it a second thought to do some shit when it came down to this shit? Hell the fuck no. If Bush didn't, what the fuck make you think McCain would? Because McCain, if I remember correctly, had the same views Bush did. Okay? If I'm not, if I'm saying, if I said, if, if I'm not mistaken, you know, Barack Obama was the best possible choice because those who are 
feeling the hurt of this recession and the economy right now because of Bush's actions, y'all probably the same ones who wanted to put McCain in to do the same shit that Bush was doing. And now you got someone who's really trying to promise that something's going to happen in the long run. And it's not, like I said, it's not going to happen tomorrow. But now you're bitching about it because he ain't doing it immediately. He's not fucking Superman. Okay? What, because he's, cause he's half black and he, he looks black that he's supposed to be fucking running shit to the point where he snapped his fingers and, and, and wiggle his fucking toes and shit's supposed to happen like that? It's not. So calm down and let the man do his fucking job. Okay? It took Bush eight years to bring us down to the point where we are. It's going to take more than eight years for Barack, for Barack Obama to bring, bring us back up to where we need to be. So with that being said, y'all be blessed and stay safe and I'll talk to y'all later.